After crashing the Red Skull's plane into the Arctic in 1945, Steve Rogers survived and was rescued days later. Though presumed dead by most, Rogers went into hiding with the help of Howard Stark and Peggy Carter, living a quiet life out of the public eye. Over the next decades, Rogers struggled to adapt to the rapidly changing world. The optimism and simplicity of the 1940s gave way to growing cynicism and complexity. Rogers found solace in his old war friends like the now married Stark and Carter, but had trouble connecting with the younger generation. By the early 2000s, Rogers was working covertly with S.H.I.E.L.D. as an anonymous operative. But when the Avengers initiative was launched to combat growing threats, Nick Fury turned to the legendary World War II hero to lead the team. Rogers was hesitant to step back into the spotlight, but his sense of duty prevailed. Captain America's introduction to Iron Man, Hulk, Thor and others was rocky at first, as the super soldier struggled with modern ego and attitudes. But his battlefield leadership and tactical skills eventually united the volatile team. Rogers' old-fashioned idealism and courage allowed him to become the moral compass that grounded the Avengers. Rogers continued to lead the Avengers through successive threats over the next decade. All while quietly adapting to modern romance and pop culture during his downtime with help from new friends. Rogers mellowed in his views on authority and gained an appreciation for a more complex modern world. But one thing remained constant, his unwavering commitment to stand up and fight whenever the world needed him, just as he had 70 years ago.